This channel brings daily updates about the San Francisco 49ers. If I were you, I'd already leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell, because there are incredible updates and you wouldn't want to miss them, right? Let's go, San Francisco 49ers, yeah! He's a Pro Bowl quarterback who just led the NFL in passer rating, a true master of the game whose skills transcend conventional expectations. It's not just about leading the league in statistics, he embodies the essence of the game, elevating it to an art form. He doesn't just need the most expensive backfield or the most valuable player in the NFL. His dexterity and vision demand a specific set of pieces to reach his maximum potential. At the 49ers, the offensive structure was tailored for Jimmy Garoppolo, but now, with Brock Purdy at the helm, it's time to rethink and rebuild the offensive landscape. Considering Garoppolo's limitations, although he's a pocket passer with a quick release, he lacks mobility and depth in his throws. It's clear that his style of play turns the football field into a tennis court. In this context, he heavily relied on a dynamic running back like Christian McCaffrey and a versatile tight end like Kyle Ustick to expand his options for short and quick plays. Additionally, Garoppolo relied on players like Debo Samuel, whose ingenuity could compensate for his lack of accuracy in throws and anticipation. However, his need for pass protection was minimal, given his ability to quickly get rid of the ball. On the other hand, Purdy represents a complete paradigm shift. As a Pro Bowl quarterback, his emphasis is on precision, timing, and the ability to read the defense. He doesn't need an expensive backfield or specific players. He needs solid pass protection on the offensive line and wide receivers who can create separation. Brandon Ayuk stands out as an ideal partner for Purdy, capable of beating coverage and providing quick and accurate passing opportunities. Now imagine if Purdy not only had one, but three reliable wide receivers capable of beating coverage, along with an offensive line that gave him the time needed to assess the field with calm and precision. We're at a crucial moment for the 49ers, where reconfiguring the offense to maximize Purdy's unique skills can define the team's future and shape an era of sustainable success. It's time to embrace this transformation and build a new chapter in the franchise's history, where excellence in the passing game is the standard and the sky is the limit for success. The San Francisco 49ers face an urgent need to reinforce their offensive line this transitional season. The quest for solutions has led to considerations about experienced players, such as former team member Lakin Tomlinson. The offensive line, particularly the right side, has emerged as a critical area for the team. Both the right guard and right tackle positions are crying out for substantial improvements. The performances of Spencer Burford and Colton McKivitz have been lacking, highlighting the pressing need for new acquisitions. A possible option to replace Burford at the guard position could be a familiar face to the fans, Lakin Tomlinson. After his release by the New York Jets, Tomlinson is now a free agent. Tomlinson spent four seasons with the 49ers between 2018 and 2021, demonstrating consistency and reliability during his time with the team. However, his departure after the 2021 season has raised expectations of a potential return and a potential boost to the team's offensive line. However, it is crucial to carefully examine this possibility. While the temptation to rely on Tomlinson's experience is understandable, it is important to recognize the reasons behind his release by the Jets. His performance is no longer the same, as indicated by concerning statistics. In the previous season, Tomlinson allowed 51 pressures, the second highest among guards, and conceded seven sacks, according to Pro Football Focus. His run blocking and overall blocking grades have also consistently been below average throughout his career, as pointed out by PFF. Additionally, it is important to note that Tomlinson is a left guard with no previous experience at the right guard position. 
Considering these aspects, the idea of reintegrating him into the 49ers team lacks merit. It does not make sense to try to force a solution that clearly does not align with the team's current needs. There's a considerable amount of speculation circulating regarding the San Francisco 49ers' ability to keep talented wide receiver Brandon Ayuk on their roster long-term, primarily due to the financial challenges faced by the team and the hefty contracts of other players. Recently, following a season marked by his best performance to date, Ayak finds himself in the final year of his rookie contract. The $14.12 million he's slated to count against the salary cap next season adds pressure, especially considering the looming free agency in March 2025. During the NFL scouting combined this Tuesday, 49ers general manager John Lynch expressed renewed confidence that a contract extension for Ayuk could be viable during this offseason. We've struggled to keep our players here, and Brandon, Ayuk, is someone we definitely want to keep with us, Lynch told reporters present. This statement marks a change in tone from early February when Lynch acknowledged that there are challenges related to the possibility of offering Ayak an extension aligned with his market value. Ayak has taken on the role of the primary pass-catching target in the 49ers' offense, replacing Debo Samuel last season. The contributions of both players were crucial in leading San Francisco to another Super Bowl appearance, something Lynch is determined to maintain. Brandon Ayak is one of my favorites on our team, Lynch said. His approach to the game, his competitiveness, and his tenacity are admirable. He plays with a unique blend of physicality and grace, and his knack for making plays in crucial moments has been invaluable to our franchise. However, the central concerns lie in financial matters. The San Francisco 49ers already boast some of the NFL's most lucrative contracts, with players like Christian McCaffrey and Nick Boza leading in their respective positions. Additionally, athletes like Trent Williams, George Kittle, and Fred Warner are also among the highest paid in their positions. On the flip side, the good news for the 49ers is the significant increase in the NFL salary cap for the upcoming season, which could alleviate financial pressures in the short term. Signing an extension with Ayuk, instead of considering his trade, might even result in a reduction in his maximum impact on the team's salary cap. Ultimately, it is imperative for the 49ers to look forward and seek more viable alternatives to strengthen their offensive line. Leaving Tomlinson in the past is essential to ensure that the team can move forward with determination towards a successful season. Now it's your time to interact with us. Leave in the comments what you thought of the video, and as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell.